Well, the personal platform is the first uh, platform of its kind that imagines the individual as the hub for all of their data and makes it safe and secure for individuals to, to capture and create data and reuse it across their lives. The platform is built uh, with security at every level. It was imagined, uh, unlike other platforms, that the user would be in control from the very beginning. And as such, um, every feature was contemplated with security in mind and the individual's control over their information. Well, privacy by design is a super important concept that we use in everything that we do that assumes that the company, personal, is not actually needing to look at or use an individual's data and putting the user in control of who gets access to the vault that contains their data and in deciding who actually uh, they might share it with and provide access to. The user is the only one with the keys to their data vault. We took that issue very seriously. We are not like other companies whose business model relies on having to look at users' data and to back channel sell it to third parties. Um, and we also know that one of the biggest security issues is from internal threats. So basically we wanted to make sure that personal itself was locked out of the ability to peruse user sensitive data. And we baked that into the system from day one too. So personal has a full suite of APIs. Uh, they are OAuth 2 based, just like Facebook Connect and Twitter. Um, that developers can use to interact with users. So you could build features from single sign-on to requesting very spe specific information from a user's data vault to uh, any pretty much any kind of app that they can imagine. We've connected every form that's in our library. So no matter which form you fill out, the data is captured and put into your vault so it can be reused. And then you can then one tap or one click publish that data into another form, uh, regardless of how that form is uh, designed. Secure Share is a feature within Personal that allows one user to share their information securely with another user of the system or a company. And it is done through an exchange of uh, keys between those two parties. So Personal is actually still kept out of this equation, yet the two parties, the originating user and the one that, that the information has been shared with, can both access it using their own uh, passwords and access methods inside of personal. Uh, you as a user can always revoke access to information that you've given and on top of you doing that technically uh, we actually have a legal agreement that binds that third party to not use that information anymore once you've revoked access. Well, one of the best things about a data vault and the way that we've built the platform is there's just a number of different ways that data can, can get into your vault. Um, people can share it with you, uh, a spouse, an office manager, a friend, an, a, a roommate. Um, your organizations can place data there through pipes, so your bank, your insurance company, your school, maybe your employer. Um, you can capture your own data while you're filling out forms online or on mobile and build out your own database that way. Or use data importers, which is a way to, to authenticate yourself and log in to different sites, which could be Facebook or LinkedIn for my profile data, or for example, the U.S. Department of Education's uh, Federal Student Loan Program to download, in that case, hundreds of fields of data about my uh, financial history with them. So Pipes is a uh, feature that we built uh, realizing that it's very hard to get a lot of data about yourself into a vault. There are a bunch of companies that have a lot of information about you and through a simple uh, post to the personal backend servers, a company can deliver a whole lot of information about you in a machine readable way and personal can store that in your vault. Again, all of your sensitive information is uh, kept separate uh, and encrypted so that personal can't look at it and you can receive this information, never have to type it, and then you can use the whole suite of personal tools to reference it, to use it online, to fill forms, to transact, um, and deliver it to applications. 
Personal does support documents. Um, we use the same technology uh, for security and encryption that we use for the data and apply it to documents. And we even allow individuals to choose a third party site such as Dropbox to store those encrypted files in a way that uh, can only be open if you're logged in and given access to personal. Fillet is an app that's built on top of the personal platform. And what it does is it delivers data from your vault to where you need it when you need it. Uh, so for example, if you're browsing on the web and you get to you know, you fill up a shopping cart on a website and you need to check out, you can one click uh, fill a checkout form with fill it and it will take your credit card, your shipping address, billing address, and it'll just fill it all out in the form straight from your vault. Well, the thing that's really amazing about fill it is that it leverages the underlying data ontology of personal and has created a map of literally every form that's in the form library, which is hundreds of thousands of forms, and it translates each and every form uh, into a way that Fillet and the Data Vault uh, can understand. The Fillet.com form portal is a website where a user can get a sense of all the different places on the web that they can use Fillet. You can find different websites that your data works on. Companies can look on Fillet.com and see if their forms have been uh, covered by Fillet, if they work well with Fillet, and they can contact Personal to uh, help them make sure their forms uh, will interoperate well. The personal platform syncs securely uh, all of your data and documents across the web and mobile devices in your life that are registered to the system so that if you make a change, even offline on the mobile vault, uh, that data is populated uh, across your devices uh, at every instant that it can uh, connect and do so. Well, the main way that a, uh, an individual would interact with a company is to, uh, one, uh, get the data vault and service and fill it from a company who can make it available to them for free and populate it with a lot of their information so they don't have to enter that information in the first place. The other way an individual can connect with companies is by using Fillet to autofill web and mobile forms of all kinds, whether that's logging in or registrations, uh, checkouts, or very advanced form filling, uh, like applying for a credit card or applying for insurance or even uh, filling out a kid's you know, summer camp application.